Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This time we are going to be looking at some Call of Duty. We're not really going to be playing it, I'm just going to be showing you some of my classes that I have in my Call of Duty thing. So, let's go ahead and uh, look at my classes. Okay, so my first class is basically a BAL-27 with three attachments, stock, foregrip, and quick draw. And basically what stock does, it lets you move faster while you're aiming down sights, so like, so like, it, it's really useful, it actually really helps and like you need it, it's kind of necessary. And foregrip is also kind of necessary, necessary, but it's not really that necessary because it just improves your aim and it does, it reduces recoil. But if you don't know what recoil is, it's basically like how the gun like moves up while you're shooting, it reduces that. And then also the quick drug grip um, is how fast you aim in, it's pretty obvious. And then I, for my perks, I have lightweight, fast hands, blast suppressor, and toughness. And the reason I have lightweight is to get around the map quickly, and fast hands is to throw grenades and other and switch weapons quickly as well. It's pretty good. And then blast suppressor, of course, to get rid of my ping whenever I um, whenever I move, like exo dodge, exo jump, or whatever. And then toughness in order to reduce recoil. I mean, not reduce recoil. Uh, reduce the. I don't know how to explain. Wait, hold on. Let me just check what it says. Flinch, reduce flinch. Okay, and then I also have exo overclock right here to make me run faster on the map. It's my exo ability, and then the exo launcher. I have two sentexes to that. This is basically my hard point class. What I use for hard point. The bow, of course. And then here's my next bow class. It has a different camo on it, as you can see, and it has the same uh, same attachments because these are these are basically what I use for all my bow classes. And then I have lightweight, fast hands, toughness, blast suppressor, same things. Same with overclock, but this time I have two stuns. This class I use for um, CTF, capture the flag, and uh, uplink. So to slow down the ball carrier, slow down the people who are running after me when I have the flag, stuff like that. And then over here, next, next one, I have the lightning camo on this one. And uh, I, have, I have the same attachments, same perks. But this one I have exo mute and two frag grenades. This is for S and D. Frag grenades are so that like they can roll around when I throw it like at a certain position. And the exo mute is basically just for enemies not to hear me while I'm running around the map or or exo dodging or exo whatever movement. <coughs> then I start um, with my next battle class, which is which is basically a battle class with overcharge this time. Um, and basically what overcharge does is that it uh, increases the exo ability battery life so that's why I put tactician on which lets me have two exo abilities so I have exo trophy system and exo mute and they last longer and these, this is for search and destroy for when I'm like trying to get long long engage long engagements with enemies so like so I can get them easily and they can't need me and destroy me so I have a trophy system. And then my next class is, I'm starting with the ASM1, but it's not completely transitioned over the ASM1. This is basically an overkill class that I have with the bow and ASM1. ASM1, I have advanced rifle link, quick draw grip, and uh, the foregrip. And then for bow, I have the quick draw grip and the stock, which are both necessary. But I don't have the foregrip because that's not really that necessary. Then I have these three um, perks, which are pretty, pretty good, which you need in order to play Call of Duty in this game. Alright, now we're gonna go on to our next classes. Now these are my ASM1 classes. Um, yeah. Okay, so right here I have my ASM1 hardpoint class. It's basically like my battle class, but I have three different perks, and of course it's a different weapon. It's an ASM1, but basically everything else is exactly the same um, as before. And then this is my CTF class, same thing, uh, same attachments and same perks as well as the um, as well and overclocks the same too but I just have stun grenades to stop the CTF people from running after me and stuff like that and then I just made this random class today because my friend told me the MP11 is pretty good so I'm I just tried it out once in one game it's not that great but I mean it's okay whatever whatever and uh, then uh, back to ASM1 classes this is my ASM1 class that lets me run fast I have overcharge which, which means that overclock lasts longer so I can run faster for a longer period of time. So I can. So this is basically for capture the flag. Like if I want to run the flag through a certain route, um, I can like run through that route faster and get get to my get to the objective faster than my opponents. 
And I also have extra trophies in to stop people from nading or stunning me. Alright, and then the last but not least is my SMD ASM1 class. It's actually really good. I have Exo Mute and Exo Tropism, basically just like my battle class, except with the ASM1 and different attachments. So guys, hope hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, these are my private match classes, by the way, not my regular match classes. For pubs, I have different classes, but I mean, they're not that important because I just play pubs with them. So, yeah, thank you all for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, peace out, swag, have a good day, nice stuff. Hopefully you have fun in your future endeavors, and uh, yeah, so.